Hi guys, it's Hugo and welcome back to another video. Today I bring you a debut novel by a very small author that I, I really want to talk about and it's Frostfire by Ethan Avery. This is a young adult fantasy novel and the author reached out to me through email if I want to read a copy of his book instead of an honest review and I surely did and I surely will bring all my, all my review, all my thoughts about this book. This is part of a series, the, the second book comes out next year, he's already writing, I talked about it by email with him. So the basic idea of Frostfire, uh, Swords and Sorcery is you have this world, you have two main focus on the story so you have two POVs you have er Erevan who is like a son of a mercenary goes in on this trip and he while he's traveling with his father he accidentally finds a woman an elf like he is that is in danger and they like make a re she makes a request for them to travel with her to protect her until she reaches the destination because she has a secret mission to do it on the other POV who have Ariel, who is a, a human, but she's she's the daughter of the great mage, but she has an, an ability of making magic. She can do that, and but she enters in this magic school uh, because her mother is part of the teaching and everything, and she has to prove herself and leave the school, and leave and you know try to learn magic and try to solve the problems that she has of insecurity and everything but there's also the plot goes with there's some mysteries in the in the in the in the school happening some problems and some mysteries that she wants to prove and although they are in separate places the story is connected by a mystical artifact and i think that was very interesting because although the stories are not connected the, the two main focus never see each other the stories are connected because they follow the same lead so the story will converge maybe in the next book they will all grow together and all be together but so far they are separate i think the characters are very well written i think i think the cover gives the idea they are like in the, between the middle grade and the other and the new adult and the young adult and i think it's the topics will go a little bit further to the young adult category a little bit further than the middle grade you know you have death you have fighting scenes you have a uh, political intrigue you know we have a lot of things going on here and i think it's a very interesting story i think the author really created this world and explained the basis um there is an elemental magic there is contra magic and it's very explained it's very simple but at the same time it's a way that being simple doesn't mean it's bad. The uh, magic system doesn't need to be complicated to be interesting, you know. You have three types of dust that the red dust is usually for use the elemental magic. So uh, create wind, water, fire, earth, and this is connected to your emotions. So for example, I think for for wind, since the, we, we associate wind with freedom, you have to free all your emotions, you have to be like like almost a blank mind for fire is more of the passion and the, you know a strong feeling for water you have to be calm so you have all of this connected and then you have like the counter spells a truth spell um, a blocking spell a freezing spell you know you have all of that you have healing magic you have all of that um, so I think the magic is very interesting and how this world goes with creatures. You have the trolls, you have the dwarves, you have um, giant spiders. I think the world is very interesting. You have the, the elves and the humans and these different countries that are in the verge of a war. Everything sounds really cool and it's a very interesting story. The chapters are not too big and I think one of the things that I, it annoyed me in some points are it's always um, the chapters are divided A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. So you go always ever and aerial, ever and aerial. And sometimes you are in a great space on uh, one of the scenes and you go to the other and it breaks and then something happens and you go back. So it creates a little bit of a tension between two because you want to see what is going on in the both sides. But at the same time you break that and you go that and then something happens and then you go back. And I think that back and forth is sometimes a little bit too much um ping pong and i think that could be addressed in a different way maybe two chapters in a row to clear that scene or um maybe go a little bit more further in that chapter but i think there's a personal choice there are people who enjoy that so it's not uh, it's more personal nitpick um 
I'm really excited for the sequel because it's it set up a lot of intrigue, a lot of problems and a lot of what is going to happen next. You know these characters are separate but they, they, you know that at some point maybe they will go together and how they will react because they are so different. You get very involved in this story, in this politic. Uh, you see characters, you may judge them at the first place and then you see the twists and turns. Um, there are some points that you are not expecting characters to be like that. So I think the author really created a good set of characters to build the story and to go with it um, to you know to make the story revolve of the, around them and to go with okay is something here but what is it who is that person uh, you know and even the parents you know I really like the dynamic between the great mage and her daughter because it's very uh, a little bit almost a toxic relationship although it's pure based in love but it turns to be almost toxic at some points and I really enjoy that because I think this book deals with a lot of problems and a lot of important issues there are talks about um, racism inside of this you know because there's different races here um, discrimination even self um, discrimination you know Ariel has very strong thoughts on her, you know, on her appearances, on her way to act, on uh, everything she questions a lot. So she's very um, stressful in all on the on in all of that. So she's very self-conscious, and I think that creates a, a dynamic that she's now we see some grow by the end, and that's very interesting. Um, let's see how this goes. I'm really excited. I think if you get a chance, please support this small author. Read this book; it's very good. It's a it's it's more a YA, so don't expect a lot of things. But it's a very good YA. Um, definitely has some interesting scenes of fighting scenes of adventure. It's a very adventure story, but I think the world is it's well built. It's very connected, and you get the whole picture. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. If you read it, thank you so much, Ethan, again for sending me the book. I was my pleasure to read it and to give you this review. Um, yeah. Uh, tell me in the comments if you are excited, if you like this type of stories, please share it down below if you ever read the book, what were your thoughts, I would love to discuss with you. Um, I have affiliate links below if you want to support this channel and if you reach this far don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will link also the author's information down below as well a link for the book, for buying, the website, the, his YouTube channel, his Twitter, everything that you need to connect with the author because I think it deserves a lot. Um, yeah, uh, do all of that, help to support the channel, share with your friends this video if you like it. Uh, I post videos every Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays and I see you guys on my next video next review, okay? Bye!